Hello and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing The Stone Rose by Jacqueline Rayner. This is a new series adventure book from Doctor Who. It features the Tenth Doctor and Rose, which are played by David Tennant and Billy Piper in the show. I listened to the audiobook this time for this, although I have actually physically read this entire book. Um, anyway, the audio is abridged and it is narrated by David Tennant, which, let's be honest, is like the best part of that. Um, but Seriously, I love this book. It is my favorite Doctor Who book, period. I adore it. It is totally five stars. So there you go. Um, in this book, Rose's boyfriend, Mickey, finds this 2,000-year-old statue in a museum, and it looks exactly like Rose. So he calls in Rose and the Doctor to show them, and... Yes, it looks exactly like Rose, and Rose gets super excited. She is going to be a model. She just knows it. And so she and the Doctor pop back to ancient Rome to get the statue made, basically. However, this is Doctor Who, and nothing is ever that easy. So they end up encountering this family whose young boy has gone missing, and Rose and the Doctor help investigate that. And they also encounter this slave girl who can see the future and uh, is really good because she knows exactly what Hadrian's Wall is that hasn't even been built yet. So, skills. When they go to find out the truth behind the stone rose statue, it's actually a lot more sinister than uh, they were hoping for. That's basically all I can tell you about the plot of this book without spoiling it, uh, but it's amazing. Mainly, I love the dialogue in this book. It feels like Ten and Rose. It's amazing. The narration is awesome. I mean, it's narrated by David Tennant, so obviously it sounds like the Tenth Doctor, but even the way that he interprets, like, Mickey, like, it doesn't sound like Mickey, but it's pretty much what I think the Doctor would interpret Mickey sounding like in his head, if that makes sense. It's like the squeaky sound, and I'm like, yeah, that, that's probably what the Doctor thinks of Mickey, honestly. It's really funny. So the narration is just amazing for the audio production. Totally check that out if you can. Um, even without that, though, I love the dialogue. I especially love the Tenth Doctor and Rose and their banter back and forth. Um, totally cute and totally shipworthy. Um, it made my fangirl art just so happy. I totally ship the two of them, and I love it. There's, like, a fantasy element in this book. Um, which kind of get disguised as science, sort of, and a deus ex machina happening in here that is like the deus ex machina of all deus ex machinas. And I totally love it. Some people hate it, but I think it works wonderfully, and it's totally, totally a timey-wimey book. That is probably all I can tell you guys about this book without spoiling it, but it is my favorite. I super love it. Um, it is... It's a historical novel. It's set in ancient Rome, but it definitely has more science fiction fantasy elements to it. Um, bits about it that feel very much like they're pulled out of Greek and Roman mythology. Um, so if you're looking for a straight historical adventure, not so much, but it's still tons of fun. Like, I really adore this book, guys. So you should totally check out The Stone Rose by Jacqueline Rayner, and I am going to do a spoilery section for this because I really want to talk about my favorite parts of this book and they are totally spoilers. So just like spoilers from now on guys, just spoilers. Okay. So first off, the slave girl Vanessa, who can see the future, we find out that she's actually from the future and that's why and that she is obsessed with um, ancient Roman stuff and it totally reminds me of Amy. Even though this book is before Amy showed up in the television show, like, I totally reminded me of that. <laughs> um, I love Vanessa as a character, and it's fun to see her, kind of, this future person going back to ancient Ro Rome and still feeling, like, out of place and trying to cope. Um, I just love that. I really love the genie, which is this machine that grants wishes. And it's totally a deus ex machina, which is Latin for God from the machine, which I adore because he's a machine that grants wishes like a god. It's like godly powers. It's just, it's awesome. I also love David Tennant's voice when he does the genie, which 
totally sort of reminded me of the dragons and how to train your dragons, uh, which David Tennant also narrates. Um, but it's just totally adorable. Um, how can you not love the genie? <laughs> he is like my favorite part of this book. Okay, not my favorite part of the book. My favorite part of the book is Ten and Rose, but like it's one of my favorite parts of this book. It's amazing. Um, we also have Ursus the sculptor. Um, who turns people into stone and it kind of reminded me a bit of Medusa who like can look at somebody turn them into stone and Midas when they touch somebody turns into gold like the combination of those two like it totally reminded me of mythology um and of course the genie itself is based off these uh Arabian night stories and mythology there so lots of fantasy um I appreciated the importance of Fortuna, the goddess of fate, and how it's like this blind luck, and you get what you get, and that's kind of just like Doctor Who in general, like they show up in the TARDIS, and what's in front of them is what's in front of them, and just make the best of what you can, um, it's like the perfect analogy, and we have um, Rose's statue being a statue of Fortuna, and... The doctor comparing her to like a lucky charm or like lucky pants. It's just it's great. I I thoroughly appreciated that part too, guys. Um, and we have the doctor showing up in the Coliseum and having to fight uh, animals and um, being like this gladiator fight, and it's just it's awesome and epic. I love that scene. Um, and all the circular logic and time travel within this book. It is so timey-wimey and it is so wonderful and I just totally appreciate it so much. Um, but my favorite part of this book is the relationship between Tom and Rose, especially when Rose is talking about the sculpture and she, like, we get to the end of the book and she's like, wait, I never actually posed for this. And the doctor's like, no need. It was sculpted by someone who knew you pretty well. And it's the doctor who sculpted it. I love it so much. <laughs> um... Like I said, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite Doctor Who book. Like, seriously, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this book. Hopefully you've already read it because you just went through the spoiler section. Um, yeah. I adore it. So, peace out. I love you guys. And keep reading. Bye.